Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser Rake has been left let's continue on from where we last left off. So, 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 last time Ukraine rebelled against us, which is really bad. One, because we had to waste manpower, well we didn't, but you know, Germany did, wasted manpower, equipment, trying to, trying to defeat them. But also, because they've been defeated, they now don't have an army, which means that the entire border, uh between Ukraine and Russia is essentially undefended, which will be bad for us. Let's just put it that way. Okay, we got our university, which is going to give us an extra research slot. Land Doctrine bonus. Four dockyards would probably be pretty good. Kind of like looking towards like land reform as well. Or war industries. It means one factory for and one military factory to dockyards. Red basket. You know what? Let's just... Let's do the Cape to Cairo Railroad. Let's get that one first. With our extra research slots. We're actually up to five now, which is pretty, pretty good. Can I build radar stations in allies' territories? I can't build anti-air guns, so I'm going to assume the answer is no on that one, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, right, I can't build this in. Can't be constructed in allied territory. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get radars. We can build radar stations in our in Germany, maybe in Belarus or in uh Is Latvia friendly? What's going on with Latvia? They're in the Moscow Accord. Estonia is in the Reichs Pact. So maybe we could put some territory there, they put a radar station. Could be good, but I guess Estonia's going to get run over probably immediately. I mean, we do have Finland, we do have uh, Sweden, Norway is in the international I mean, international is not doing, like, that strongly. You know, they have Britain, they have France, and they're going to have the uh, SRI. Those those are gimmies. Those are always going to happen. But, like, Norway is really not a great gain for them. So, we, like, we should be mostly fine. I mean, I think it's too much for the Dutch Revolution to happen. Switzerland, they got national populists. They might actually invade France. We did see that in our last campaign as the French uh, Kingdom. Austria, of course, is going to join our faction at some point. It's still a little sad that they didn't uh, end up unifying the country. But again, Ukraine will probably die pretty, pretty quickly. We'll see the Austrians intervene. We will also see Serbia and Romania join the, the Russians as well. And maybe Greece? I mean, Greece right now, they are most democratic. I think they, they probably will join the Russians. You are led by non-partisans, what I believe is mostly neutral. Albania is in the New Atrebund. That is nice. We have still civilian economy. Go up to early mobilization, please, and thank you. How many uh, factories do we have right now? We have six on construction. That's not so bad. We're going to be getting... I think this is rubber. I don't actually remember what uh, infrastructure here was going to give us. When will you be done? You'll be done on the 11th of February? You know, just give me, like, one row of that for now. Anti-aircraft guns we can't build there. Air bases we could. Infrastructure we also can build stuff in a... friendly territory. Do we need any, like, railroads? Are any railroads needed for our supply lines? Not as far as I can really tell. Naval bases, supply hubs... I think for the most part, we're probably okay. Yeah, so you know what? Give me, um... Yeah, let's go, let's go two infrastructure here. Or maybe not. What do you give me? You give me plus two? We'll get infrastructure like that. Uh, when we get our uh, radar station, we'll probably start building some of those in, in Germany. They don't... Like, the AI, I don't think builds them. I think in the Union of Britain, there's an event... Or not an event. There's a uh, national focus that gives them, I think, three of them. That's really about it. Okay, came to Cairo. Give me 16 oil. Absolutely. Kurdistan is revolted. Not a big deal. I don't think they're at war with Egypt quite yet, but it is December, so they'll probably end up breaking out into war very, very soon. Okay. Negative 10,000 manpower. We get a level 2 railroad from Dar es Salaam to Uganda. You know what? Yeah, I, I think that seems okay. And I have manpower to spare, so... Well, yeah, it's not that much. I only have 70,000. 
If we can get our way up to limited conscription, that would be nice. 1% more population. Do I have any benefits or penalties to this? No, it's just a flat 1.5%. And I don't think we have anything in here to... Well, actually, we might. I don't know. Land Doctrine. Manpower. No, you're garbage. You're terrible. So, no. No, we don't have any uh, recruitable manpower bonuses right now. Which is fine. We don't, we don't really need them. Okay, 1939 budget. 10% uh, more factory output. 40% uh, faster construction speed. Fantastic. Are we still taking a construction speed? We are. Fantastic. I will, I will definitely take it. So now, our finest hour. We're five here. We're getting a nice construction speed bonus. Nine factories. You beat on a 24. So we, we've saved ourselves about two weeks, two, two, three weeks on that. Never hurts, right? Never hurts at all. Can we trade more units? No, we're still at 37. I mean, 37 is not bad. Especially since we do have a complete uh, army in Europe already to deploy. Probably against the French. I, I typically feel like defeating the international first and then moving on to Russia is normally the better play. Especially since when you're fighting international, you also got the support of the Entente. So it should work out better. I do wish that this war would end a little bit faster, though. Um, I mean, I kind of still want the Carlos to win. I'd prefer an Entente. I would prefer an Entente Spain to a neutral Spain. But, I mean, this has been one of the uh, more deadly Spanish wars I've seen in a while. If the Carlos were to take, let's say, uh, Tarragona, split the kingdom in half, that probably kind of spells their uh, defeat. Oh, so I have a very strong feeling that CSA is going to end winning in, uh, winning in the United States, which does scare me a little bit, for sure. Because a strong CSA essentially means the Canadians will probably just die... Which is not a fun time. Resource extraction. I think we just kind of keep going for the resources. You know, we get more resources for ourselves. We can trade those away to our uh, allies. And when we trade them away, we do get some uh, civilian factories out of that. And I would always, uh, always happy with that. Okay, let's go for our next level of infantry equipment. Upgrade you. Give me next level of artillery. Upgrade whatever we got in our stockpile. Which means we're now importing... A little bit too much steel. We can take one factory off of this for now. Do I want to import one more from uh, one more aluminum from the Germans? We're using this for aircraft, I'm assuming. Well, the thing that's not getting it right now is basic medium airframe and support equipment. I'm okay with support equipment not uh, not getting the aluminum. Yeah, build radar stations. Can't build it here. They have no slots. Oh, do they need the technology for me to build it in their territory? I'm going to assume the answer is yes. Let's just go one in Western Rhineland, one in Württemberg. I don't know. How expensive are you guys? 3375 is actually incredibly cheap. You be done in March. Like, it's a month. Well, Gary, you join the Austrians? Fantastic. That's going to be another ally uh, when we go to when they go to war with Russia, which probably I think this at this point is probably inevitable. And I'm thinking... Well, we got a research slot. I think we just go for more radar. We'll use that basically to boost up Germany's uh, air force. Because if we have radar detection and they do not have radar detection, our air force is going to be significantly better. A lot more efficient. And we're going to start building them into, uh, into commune territory once we start kind of pushing away in that direction. Okay, Bogandas, this is the Prussian Military Academy. Five war, uh, war support, 35 iron experience. Absolutely, thank you very much. I mean, never say no to that, right? 100% resource extraction? 100% is pretty good. Yeah, I, I will take that. Thank you very much. The SRI is doing a little bit too well against two Sicilies. That's not a too huge surprise. I do feel like the SRI is performing a lot better recently than they used to in the past. But we might see the Italian Republic kind of step into this war. Which I would be happy with, for sure. 
Tip of the spear, marine bonuses. Yield. Okay. The United States has collapsed. Not great. Yeah, so the CS. I mean, the CSA at this point. I, I can't see them losing. Okay, Germany refused to return the skull of Cheese McQuaw. Uh, we encountered a bit of a diplomatic faux pas during one of his sponsor royal tours. Chief Adam Seppi of the Waha uh, requested the return of his predecessor's skull, currently kept in the Bremen Anthropology Museum. The skull belongs to Chief McQua, uh, who was a rebel, a rebel against Germany's rule and beheaded by Commander Tom von Prince, who sent the skull to the museum's collection. Negative tuber. I can't take stability losses. If there's one thing that Middle Africa cannot support, it is uh, stability losses. Land crisis in the Kenyan Highlands. Allowing German settlement in the, uh, in the Highlands of uh, Kenya have only expedited the problems in the region. As it has set off land speculation with prices rising out of control. And conflicts and disputes breaking out over the uh, declamation of a few meters of land. To make matters worse from the local QQ tribes, a man is not considered an adult until he owns at least some land. There are, adult, uh, uh, there are tribal territories set aside for this, but they are massively overcrowded. With most of them owning no land and working on British plantations. Additionally, an increasing uh, the amount of land within tribal areas is monopolized by the local chiefs. This, local, this land shortage is creating unrest on all sides. So stability loss, more stability loss. The Drogerman settlers. Let's break up the British plantations, I think. I mean, I know it's a stability loss. But I think if we don't piss off the QQ, there won't be the internal rebellion. I mean, we do have enough troops in the area that we probably could put it down. But I feel like that's going to be a lot more than a negative 2% stability. It might be like negative 10 or something like that. And I, I can't afford it. Like, we're right now, if we go to war, it's going to be a negative 32.6% penalty. Which we can, which we can take. We can take a negative 32. But if war support starts dropping... That is really bad. Two civilian factories. You know what? Give me military reforms. I mean, we're about, I would still say, like a year away from the war. So getting the military reforms now rather than when we're actually in the middle of combat probably would be better. Okay, improved artillery. Fantastic. Uh, you know, ah, 1941 is a little expensive. Do we have naval invasion tech? We do. 265 for the next level. 1940 research. It is a little expensive, don't get me wrong. You're expensive. You know what? More fuel per oil. And we get a 20% research uh, bonus on that. More than, uh, I'm more than okay with that. So how is our radar stations? Oh, they're already both built. I'm, I'm kind of surprised how, uh... You know, just build radar all across the German border. I mean, and they build May 16th? Yeah, they build in like a month. And I, and that's with, um, you know, the infrastructure in the area not being that great. We get a 60% bonus, which is nice for sure. Could be better. And I don't think we even have any, we have any construction bonuses. Like, what's our construction? Right now, we get a 0% bonus on them. We do have a plus 45 because of all our construction upgrades and free trade, which is nice. How many factories right now? We're at 21, 26. I, I would definitely like some more naval dockyards. But more naval dockyards counts against consumer goods. That's the thing. Like we, I want I want personalization, but I also want uh, limited conscription. And our political power gain is still ass. It's, it's still not good at all. We got planes and reserves. I mean, I'll deploy them. Why not? It's like, I know they don't really have any plans for now. And you know, might as well assign all these planes over to Red Army for the moment. Blue Army? I, I don't really know what we're going to do with you. Okay, Venezuela's gone syndicalist. Four naval dockyards. I mean, four naval dockyards is pretty good. More resources. Ah, let, let's... No, let's do you first. Just because I, I don't really know. Our colony will start supplying Germany with domestic products at all costs. That seems like a bad thing. It's in red font. 
Okay, Sultan Kofa II has visited Singapore. Let's see, what do we got? We got Naval Doctor, two coastal forts. Absolutely, thank you very much. We've now doubled our naval production. Of course, we're going to use that for convoys. Convoys are good. Okay, Delhi's collapsed. I would say the city class are doing really, really well outside of Europe. Like, they're doing decently in India. They're doing very well in the United States. They're doing, I would say, also pretty okay in South America. It's really just like Europe. They're not performing at top, uh, the top of their game. So I can't go plus two because they need to research plus two. Which I find very, very strange why I can't build a radar station in their territory just because they themselves haven't researched it. So I guess then we're not going to go up the, the radar tree. Because if you can only build plus two, plus three radar stations in Africa, that's kind of ass. However, I do think that at least right now, it's going to be a good time for us to end off for uh, for now. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, put a thumbs up. Now, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.